the rules for looking after the neighbor's cat. I live next door to a family of four, a couple and their two children. There's a teenage boy and a little girl. They're a fairly normal family, kind to those around them. Recently, they asked if I could house sit and look after their cat while they went on vacation. Noticing they were willing to pay a decent sum, I agreed. I arrived at their house as they were leaving, catching them in the final throes of packing up odds and ends for their trip. I stood by the front door, waiting for them to exit and hand over the house keys. Oddly enough, as they were leaving, the little girl slipped a few notes into my pocket. I waved goodbye, closed the door, and began to read the notes. The handwriting was messy, with some scrawled passages and a few misspelled words. Hello, neighbor. Thank you for agreeing to stay at our house and look after Whiskers, our cat, while we're away. Don't worry, it won't be too difficult. As my dad said, you'll be paid, and quite handsomely too, so it'll be totally worth it. I know my parents gave you some rules already, but these are really important. They don't know everything that happens in the house when they're at work all day. First, the daytime rules. Mom and dad said you'd stay in their room, but don't do that. It's safer in my room, so go in there instead. My room is the one with the pink bed and the cute stuffed animals. But don't stare at them for too long. They get embarrassed easily. Feed Whiskers. I'm not sure what time he eats, but I guess my parents told you. Remember this because it's really important. Don't overfeed him though, because he's already pretty fat and he'll get too sleepy if he eats too much, which isn't good because he needs to be able to run away. Don't go into my brother's room. It smells really bad in there for some reason, and there's something that looks like a person sitting on the bookshelf. I call it shadow. Last time I went in there, it ran at me and started scratching all over my legs and pulling my hair. I was really scared, but when I told mom, she didn't believe me. Don't let Whiskers leave the house. He'll get lost. Nothing bad will happen to you, but I'll be really sad, and that's not good. Please don't leave the house for too long. Whiskers will feel lonely and he becomes more vulnerable without you to protect him. Usually, when he feels lonely, the other weird things in the house can sense it and tend to hunt him more. If you're gone too long, there won't be anyone in the house to protect him anymore. That's why my family wanted to hire you to stay at our house instead of just coming by to feed the cat a few times a day. If you really need to use the bathroom, use the one downstairs. The upstairs bathroom is always occupied and I don't know who's using it. If you hear Whiskers meowing really loudly while looking in a particular direction, don't look where he's looking. He's seeing something really scary. Run to my room and call his name loudly and after a few calls, he'll come to you. Then, close my bedroom door, block it with a chair and stay in there for a really long time. 7A. If Whiskers doesn't come to you, close your eyes and run to him. Pick him up and bring him to my room. Don't look back while you're doing this. 7B. If you hear knocking, don't open the door. Ignore it no matter how hard it knocks. Don't open the door. If you do, you should panic because the thing outside will do something bad to you. I think. Please play with Whiskers. He's just a little kitty and he has a lot of energy. If you don't play with him, he'll go find someone else to play with. Next, the nighttime rules. Put Whiskers' little bed in my room. He'll be safe there with you all night. He might ask for pets, so give him some love. Don't walk in the hallway at night. There are terrible creatures that will try to grab you from all over the house. If you suddenly wake up in the middle of the night, you might see a woman staring at you. Don't worry, she's my friend. But actually, I don't know if she's friendly to other people, so it's best if you just pretend to be asleep. I go to bed at 9 p.m. and don't know what happens after that, so you should go to sleep at 9 p.m. too. This is all I can fit on this tiny piece of paper. Sorry. I looked back at the rules written on the paper after reading them. Was this some kind of prank? Perhaps just the mischievous jokes of playful children? As I kept staring at the paper, suddenly a loud meow rang out. I tossed the paper aside and went to where the cat was staring intently at something. Ignoring the rules, I looked in the direction it was facing and... What was that? 
A tall, humanoid creature loomed over me, a grotesque smile plastered across its face. I felt myself freeze, swallowing hard. It looked terrifying. Suddenly remembering the rules, I quickly scooped up the cat and ran straight into the little girl's room with the pink bed. I closed the door and sat in complete silence in that room before loud banging started on the door. I should have blocked it with a chair, 